Now, as the party goes through a massive turmoil, the Congress top brass will be in a huddle in Udaipur in a meeting in order to chart out the future course and the future direction of uh, the party. Now, after a series of poll reverses, the meet aims at a revamp of the party. In attendance will be over 400 Congress netas who will find ways to be battle ready for the upcoming election challenges. Along with brainstorming over the roadmap for the party, the meeting will see key discussions on six topics politics, organization, economy, social welfare, youth and agriculture. The demand to bring back Rahul Gandhi at the helm of the party is likely to be raised in the meeting. Over 400 leaders, including MPs, MLAs, MLCs and office bearers and 50 others have been invited by the Congress President for the meeting. तो तय किया तो आपको हम पीछे दिखा रहे हैं कि कांग्रेस के अध्यक्ष राहुल गांधी इस समय यहां पर जो है प्लेटफॉर्म से उतर के बाहर आ रहे हैं राहुल गांधी के साथ तमाम कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता और कार्यकर्ता हैं पूरा का पूरा सफर जो है वो तय किया उदयपुर आने का दिल्ली से उदयपुर पहुंचे हैं और मेरे पीछे आप देख सकते हैं कि राहुल गांधी इस समय जो है वो उदयपुर रेलवे स्टेशन पे निकल कर आगे जा रहे हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी का तीन दिवसीय चिंतन शिविर आज उदयपुर में हो रहा है और उदयपुर सिटी का जो ये रेलवे स्टेशन है वहाँ का दृश्य हम आपको दिखा रहे हैं जहाँ पर एक तो और कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता हैं और दूसरी ओर जो है कांग्रेस के नेता और कार्यकर्ता बसों में बैठे हुए हैं और उनकी जो को जो लीड कर रहे हैं वो राहुल गांधी कर रहे हैं आपको यहाँ का मैं दृश्य दिखाना चाहूँगी किस तरह से पारंपरिक तौर पर जो है लोग नाच रहे हैं और यहाँ पर जो है उनको क्लियर ऑफ किया जा रहा है बसों में बैठ कर से जो है कांग्रेस पार्टी के तमाम नेता जो है वो बाहर निकल पड़े हैं सबसे आगे जो है वो राहुल गांधी बैठे हुए हैं और उनके पीछे पूरी की पूरी जो है कांग्रेस पार्टी के तमाम अस्सी जो नेता हैं वो लोग मौजूद हैं ये जो दृश्य आपको हम दिखा रहे हैं ये उदयपुर रेलवे स्टेशन के बाहर का दृश्य है कांग्रेस पार्टी का एक तरह से शक्ति प्रदर्शन कहिए शो ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ कहिए या फिर आप ये भी कह सकते हैं कि दो चौबीस के चुनावों की तैयारी है और उसके लिए बिगुल जो है वो यहाँ पर आज जो है वो फूक दिया गया है कहा यही जा रहा है कि 2024 का जब चुनाव आएगा उसका जब रिजल्ट आएगा तो उसमें जो है कांग्रेस पार्टी यूं ही बैटल रेडी रहेगी आपको हम यहाँ का जो है वो दृश्य दिखा रहे हैं कि किस तरीके से कांग्रेस पार्टी के तमाम नेता और कार्यकर्ता जो हैं वो यहाँ से बसों में बैठ जा रहे हैं सबसे आगे जो है वो राहुल गांधी हैं और उनके साथ में जो है वो अशोक गहलोत मौजूद हैं अशोक गहलोत और राहुल गांधी जो हैं उनके साथ साथ आप देखिए पीछे तमाम जितने कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता हैं वो लोग मौजूद हैं ये बसों में भरकर कर यहाँ से जो है पूरा काफिला बड़ा चला जा रहा है चिंतन शिविर कांग्रेस का होना एक मायने रखता है इसलिए पूरे देश के हमारे डेलीगेट्स आ रहे हैं मीडिया इतनी बड़ी संख्या में आ रहा है आप समझ रहे कितना इम्पोर्टेंट चिंतन शिविर है राहुल गांधी जी को अध्यक्ष बनने के लिए लंबी समय से मांग होती जा रही नई बात नहीं है हर वर्किंग कमेटी में लोग सब डेलीगेट सब मेंबर ही कहते हैं तो मैं समझता हूं कि राहुल गांधी जी को खुद को बन जाना चाहिए अध्यक्ष से मेरा मानना है My colleague Supriya Bhardwaj, in fact, is now joining me live from Udaipur on this. Supriya, good morning to you. What are going to be the big takeaways from this Chintan Shivir that the Congress is holding in Udaipur? Also, is this likely to pave the way for Rahul Gandhi's comeback as Congress President, Supriya? Well, Pallavi, first and foremost, good morning to you and Ram Ram Sa to our viewers. We are in Udaipur, the city of uh, lakes. And uh, the three-day-long Chintan Shivir is going to start from today. Congress Party's main top focus is that of revamping and restructuring uh, the organization. When we spoke to a lot of leaders of the Congress Party, they categorically stated that if we have to do something big in 2024 Lok Sabha polls, we have to make sure that we have to set our house in order. And this way, Chintan Shivir will ensure that, that the party at length and breadth discusses what are the challenges before it and what are its strengths. And at the same time also is going to draft an actionable plan. A lot of leaders have been maintaining this, that this very Chintan Shivir is not about drafting a manifesto for 2024 Lok Sabha poll. Rather, it is an exercise, an actionable plan, which will be implemented from May 16th also. One of the biggest takeaways which we can tell our viewers is, in that important Chintan Shivir, the Congress leaders uh, from uh, across the country, there are approximately 430 Congress leaders who will uh, huddle in uh, 
Taj Aravali in Udaipur, where they will be brainstorming the strategy, are saying that they want Rahul Gandhi as the next president. Right from the Chief Minister of Rajasthan to just now, we spoke to Mr. Bhupesh Baghel, the CM of Chhattisgarh, as well as who's who from the Congress Party are maintaining that once again they will appeal to Rahul Gandhi collectively and say that it is high time he should take over as the Congress Party president. But what is really interesting is that already the election process is going on and it is uh, in the uh, uh, August and September uh, this very uh, year that uh, Congress is going to elect its next uh, uh, President, I would like to show you what has happened in Udaipur. There are these big flexes which have been put up of Congress Party senior leaders with their coats. Right and uh, behind me is that of Subhash Chandra Bose ji. And you can see that entire Udaipur has been decked in the colors of Congress Party. Uh, what is really interesting is this, follow me, that as far as the alliances are concerned, now this is a very interesting one. Congress Party is saying that we are not going to do alliances at the cost of Congress party itself, and not at the cost of the party. They are not going to do alliances uh, categorically t with TRS. Rahul Gandhi himself said in Barangal rally that uh, there will be no alliance with TRS. As far as Aam Aadmi Party is also concerned, well, leaders have said that there will be no alliance with Aam Aadmi Party. However, as far as other opposition parties are concerned, they are going to brainstorm a strategy as far as the Mahagadbandar for 2024 is concerned. What will be the strategy? How to take on BJP uh, in 2024? That will be discussed in this very crucial meeting which is going to start in Udaipur from today afternoon when Congress President Sonia Gandhi is going to address all the delegates. Right. Supriya, speaking of challenges, one of the biggest challenges, of course, is expected to be the fact that there is a lot of infighting. Uh, there is a lot of dissidence within the Congress party. We know of the G23, the famous or the infamous, if you may, uh, the G23, but other state units as well. We keep hearing of reports of infighting. How is the Congress going to deal with that if it is to be, as you say, battle ready for 2024? Well, this is exactly what the Committee on Organization has been deliberating upon because it's not just the issue of desertion or people jumping from pa Congress party to other uh, parties but also about the indiscipline. We spoke to Punjab Congress Chief Raja Barar. He said categorically that now the party is not going to tolerate uh, any kind of uh, nonsense. They are not going to tolerate indiscipline. They will be taking actions. Rahul Gandhi himself in Telangana made it very clear. Uh, Congress President Sonia Gandhi in that CWC uh, meet uh, in her address had said that self-criticism is welcome, but uh, uh, beyond that, uh, creating a gloom and doom uh, is not done so. As far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned, he has categorically stated that there are party platforms on which you can go and keep your grievances, but not uh, to go to media. And if people go to media, if they uh, put out some uh, issues on the internal matters on the social media, then that won't be accepted. So as far as Congress party is concerned, there are a lot of challenges before it. First being that as to how uh, to be battled ready for 2024, how to strengthen the organization, not at the national level, but the state, the district and the block level. Also at the same time, uh, how they're going to stop the desertions which are taking place. They also, as to how they're going to look into the issue of indiscipline. Also uh, the, being that of as far as uh, uh, the narrative setting, because you know, what is going to be the line on polarization. This is also one big issue which will be discussed. So Congress party has already done its homework. There are leaders who have huddled and have come up with uh, this paper, which will will be kept for discussion tomorrow uh, wherein they are going to look very brutally at their challenges, at their weaknesses and are going to form a strategy as to how can these weaknesses be turned into strength. Right. So in short, this Chintan Shivar is nothing short of a SWOT analysis of the Congress party. What is really interesting is uh, this right. train ride uh, from uh, uh, Delhi to Udaipur where we are at the railway station where a lot of leaders as well as the uh, party workers said that all we have to do is just brush ourselves up, just right. revamp ourselves. Okay, so the Congress seems the very optimistic. Optimistic ahead of this three-day long Chintan Shivir in Udaipur. But of course, it remains to be seen what sort of takeaways uh, emerge at the end of those uh, three days. Uh, I apologize for cutting you short over there, Supriya. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.